Hi, this is Lorena Lightheart. I'm the product manager with Whitmix Corporation. We are here at the CDA meeting in beautiful Anaheim, California. And today I would like you to meet Max. Max is an Android app that will virtually capture patient information that can be then transferred to mount the models over in, on a full-size articulator. Um, app is, there is a setup for the doctor's office and for the lab setup. So the way that Max works is in the doctor's office, the doctor is going to take a photo of the patient and you'll be able to capture the patient's facial midline and the horizontal angle and using this uh, Samsung tablet with an eight megapixel rear camera and a flash, as you can see, you'll be able to get a really good image of all the teeth from front to back. Then once he has the patient's photo, the next thing that he's going to do is he is going to measure the width of the patient's centrals. When he has that number, he's going to actually adjust the size of the photo to the width of those um, centrals. And what that's going to do for us is it's going to give us a very good one-to-one -one relationship when we go over to mounting the model. So it's a very important piece of information. And then the third piece that the dentist will do is that he will document first point of contact, especially if they're mounting in CR. And those are the three steps that the doctor will do, and then he can email that information all the way over to the lab for mounting. And it uh, also will give the lab a beautiful photo of the patient and what they're working with. So now I'll show you how that works on the tablet. As I mentioned, it's an app on an Android tablet, and as you can see behind me, the patient is my candle. It's very stationary. I like that she doesn't move. And she has beautiful teeth um, as the dice. That's what the dice are representing. And you can see in my app that what I'm able to look at is a very live photo of my patient so that you can see her. I'm lining up my facial midline. I have my horizontal angle. And if I did have a real patient, I would be able to use the eyes to determine the distance of how far away from the patient I should be, usually 8 to 12 inches. And so once I have the facial midline and the horizontal angle set, then the next thing I do is just take the photo. Now that I have the photo, I can actually step back from the patient and work with the tablet, the photo on the tablet. So let's say that the patient's, the width of the centrals is nine millimeter. It's very easy to go into the app and change the width of the teeth that are in my prototype to nine millimeter. And then the next thing that I'm actually doing is adjusting the size of that photo so that the dice or the teeth fit within those nine millimeters. If I need to do fine tuning, I have small buttons down below to change it and to move it ever so slightly so they can be lined up so that I am happy where it is. Once I have this information, I click OK and capture that photo. Then the third step was documenting the first point of contact. And so wherever it is, I would just mark the two teeth that touch first and save that information. With this, the doctor is ready then to send the files over to who's going to mount the models on the articulator. So now we're over here on the lab side, and what we have here along with the app, the Android app that we just talked about, is that we have a lab stand for using to correct, set our correct distance, and, and a stand that tilts 20 degrees in all angles and goes up and down so that we can set the models here. So this dice on this stand is actually a replica of our models of that patient. They've taken an impression for the models and they're there. What we do then from this perspective is we put the models on the lab stand and we're going to bring up that patient photo that we received from the doctor and we're going to have the ability to look through that photo and position the models on that stand exactly as they would fit in the patient's mouth. We start up the tablet. As you've noticed from here, the very first three bars are lit in green and that means the doctor has completed his part of the process and the two red bars for the lab mean that the, the next steps are for the lab to do their two parts. So you click on the first section for the lab and you'll see that we bring up the photo of our patient. If I use this blue scroll bar you can see there's my patient that I've brought up 
And if I use the blue scroll bar all the way over here, you can see that it's a live image of what you're seeing behind it. So you move the scroll bar about to center so that you can see your patient and you can see live. And as I rotate the screen, look how you can see the gray scale and you can see the differences of where it's not lined up and how to line it up. So then the next steps that I would want to do is be able to line those teeth up as closely as I can to match what's in the photo. But the lab doesn't have to use eye strain here. They have the same power for eight megapixel camera than the same flash that the doctor has. So all they need to do at this point is take a picture. And with the having a picture, we can even see more close up detail as to how well we're lined up. So we've taken a picture and to show you that, there's the picture that we just took. And here's the patient that we had earlier. Go back roughly to the middle and blow it up. Now, you can see I was pretty close. I have some pretty sharp lines, but there are a few corners there where I have some gray, and you can tell I'm not quite lined up just how I want to be. That make, this app makes that very easy. All you need to do is back up slightly and just tweak ever so slightly to get it lined up exactly how you want to have it. And you know where to go because you already saw it blown up. If you're happy, you go ahead and take another picture of it to document it for your files. And so if we're good at this point and we want to go ahead and mount our models, you'd put a small amount of mounting stone on your model. You would put the appropriate mounting plate here for the Daner Hanna or Whitmix articulator that you're using. You would close it and let that stone set for about 10 minutes. Once that was complete, you're able then to remove the model from here finish it, make it look beautiful, and then go on over there and mount it up the lower on whichever one of the articulators you're using. And that is Max. I hope you enjoyed meeting him today.